chiamo Luca, vengo da Firenze, vivo in Olanda da dieci anni. I started to do yoga in the moment of my life when I was struggling with, uh, with a few things. I left Italy, I had two kids in Italy, and uh, I had to leave because the economic, uh, the economic part of my life was a shit. And it's been a pain, a big pain for me. And uh, meditation helped me a lot to um, clean up my mind and to, I had a lot of bullshit in my mind. Hello, I'm Elena. Elena is here, of course, and I'm from Athena. Something serious happened to me and I wasn't satisfied with the Western medicine. So I said it can't be it. There must be something else I can do. I'm a Brazilian. My name is Maromba. I live in the forests of the Atlantic. I grew up in the street, you know taking decisions what to do with life or because in the street you don't have much option besides to be a criminal or a drug addict or drunk or something like this. Marhaba, ana esme Edi. Ana Sara Martela Edi. In my daily life I am uh, a part-time consultant in economics and politics, and I'm also uh, an academic. Well, I was a banker, I was uh, very into the society, and uh, at some point I felt that uh, everything in my life is just wrong, systematic, and how the society uh, guided me to be. Ja sam Adriana Tretanj, organizatorica sa modem festivala. Most of the year we live here and it's kind of our home, this area. And where all the people come, I feel like, wow, now finally guests arrived. Ciao, sono Claudio e vengo da Genova, Italia. Alan, korim li rotem, vani ba mi Israel. Ja sam Nikola, iz Hrvatske sam... I am... Kana Yamamoto, from Japan. Ik ben Koen Schouwers, ik kom uit Nederland. I'm Frenzy, I'm from Australia. Trouwe, mijn naam is Georgia, ik ben in Serbië. Everyone is completely different, comes here with maybe problems or just to have fun or feel free, but everybody is very open and the connection is great here with people. All the people who live the trans culture love to be in the nature. Whenever I'm in good nature, I'm just super ecstatic. You go back to your roots. Be back to, to live in the middle of the bush, in the forest, and bumping and stumping, and uh, enjoy, enjoy the moon and enjoy, and enjoy the nature. So you go back to be an animal. much more easy to integrate the people that they come together so in the city is everything normal so if they're making the city will be like just like a disco so you can go in the disco anywhere you want in the city but not like this and this kind of festival bring the people to a different mood they get more gentle they have more time they talk more nice they smile more I'm a Reiki master and also do energy healing on chakras my job as a healer makes me really happy when I see it work. Wow, I can do anything after that. Today 
the yeah, mission yeah, of this know. workshop is uh, uh, discover what is music. So, uh, to have more consciousness of what I am and to grow and to go further, okay? This is why uh, frequency are so important and are a part of our everyday life. Music uh, uh, is a sort of, uh, um, how can I say, um, medicine? <laughs> yes, it can be really a good medicine. People lay down and receive uh, the frequencies, the vibration, and uh, the music played by Zoo is uh, really a sort of uh, um, uh, sonic uh, trip, sonic uh, meditation. There's a lot of energy in this festival. They have to burn it, and it's kind of uh, wow. It's it's full on. No? You, you go up there, you work out. <laughs> you don't get that in clubs, uh, nearly anywhere, because uh, just no one is looking at anyone. Everyone's just freely moving and dancing. I always felt that it was very good for me. This music and dancing barefoot in the woods, therapy. <laughs> a shower of all frequencies, minor ones, major sounds with the combination of minor sounds. Some increase the heartbeat, shorten the breath, makes you feel in an anxious environment. So it's kind of facing your dark side, no? And uh, see what happens. And then you cool down, you go back to chill out. Or you get a movie, you know, <laughs> never know. <laughs> So in the street is a hard place to live, you know? No, no one in the street help you or anything. Everyone wants, just wants something from you, or steal or something. It was quite hard to make the life, uh, to feel good, to sleep, or to eat, or to get these things together. In the street, no one give you a chance, any chance. You have to make everything from your own. Just in Europe, I make 16 years of festivals. I love it. I love it. I don't get tired of that. It's a lot of friends that I meet, a lot of friends that I do. So that is my main reason. The meeting for me is the best. And you can really feel community inside. And you see all the people and uh, this networking uh, around the world. It's not just local people. It's a tribe, more a family, I think. It's really a tribe. They all accept each other. They all talk to each other. They all live with each other and have a fun. All this environment of getting together, sharing vibes and sharing interesting stories of depth and that, that not related to profit whatsoever. So this somehow freedom brings back the old sense of tribal belonging. When everyone that come here in the beginning, they will change a bit. After the first or second party, they will have a change. Some of them cannot because of their job or because of the pressure in the family, things like that, but normally they will make change. There's a lot of fashion, there's a lot of show off, no? like it's a kind of hippie, no? That's like where I don't give a fuck, but you can see around, there's a lot of people taking care and giving a fuck, no? like, which is my style. So everyone use the same kind of fashion. And I make a joke, I said, yeah, it's coming the next uniform. Hippie uniform. <laughs> they come to such events, not only for the music, but also for the connection with mirrored like people to let go of their material archetype and their social statuses to move along into somewhere. Let us not call it escape, but we can also call it a way to detach. 
it's a spot where uh, you're allowed to to do more or less what you want. It's more easy for them when they are here. You know, they can show the, the real character. The child inside of them come out. It's a place to contribute, not to consume whatever it is, and not to abuse anything, whatever it is. They want to explore the nice side of the moon. <laughs> Most of the population in this world use drugs, and we have been using substances since the since ages. And uh, how you use it, why you use it, you no, know? is the recreational stuff. And then it's to understand when it's not more recreational, when it's going too far. But there's a lot of, uh, a lot of people exploring, and myself. It's just a kindergarten for adults, so if anyone wants to play, you should come here. It's a good place. Play, come to yourself, and maybe learn a few more things good for you. <laughs> I believe that this is a good use, no? Most, most of the time. Then, of course. We are not all the same, no, but... This is not a resort to run away. This is a completion of what we live in our, in our daily life. We cannot live in denial all the time. And the moment that you come in here, you get so many questions. It's more questions than answers. The learning process is not in one time. You, you need a whole life. But here is a good beginning. <laughs>